Hi guys, welcome back to the Lexi Hair Channel. My name is Eastiana and today's video is all about hair loss. So if you're dealing with thinning hair or shedding hair, all of that, we're gonna talk about some ways to deal with it, work with it, prevent it, stop it. So let's just get into it. So let's start from the beginning. Why is my hair shedding in the first place? Before you freak out, according to the internet, the average woman loses about 100 strands a day. So if you feel like you're losing more than that, well, there could be a number of reasons why that's happening. It could be related to age, hormonal levels, if you've recently given birth and are dealing with postpartum hair loss, your diet and overall health, stress, that one's major, or if you just have kind of a bad hair routine and maybe aren't using the healthiest habits on your hair. So obviously if it's related to pregnancy, um, usually this will only last for about six months. If it's past that, you may wanna to speak to your doctor, but usually if your hair shedding is related to big hormonal changes, we can rest assured that that's only temporary. But outside of that, let's talk some easy fixes to prevent hair shedding and thinning hair and dealing with it. So let's start at the basics. You wanna make sure that you're maintaining a healthy, balanced diet, friendly to your hair. So that means lots of vitamins, lots of proteins. A few major key players here are zinc, iron, B12. If you're stocking your fridge with fish, leafy greens, nuts, things like that, then you should be good to go. Animal proteins carry a lot of B12 and iron. So if you are a vegan or vegetarian, you wanna make sure you're getting those nutrients from other sources. And of course, aside from diet, making sure that you are always hydrated is super key. So if this is hard for you and maybe you're super busy or you forget or you just don't like the taste of water, make it easier on yourself by a maybe adding some fruit or cucumbers to your water. Make it fun, make it like a game or a challenge or set some reminders on your phone so that you're constantly drinking water throughout the day. Staying hydrated is super important for maintaining healthy, long, thick hair. Next, let's talk about stress because stress is so major and so many of us deal with it, I for sure do. But you wanna make sure that you spend some time on yourself, give yourself that time that you need to sort of de-stress, relax, meditate. I like reading books, taking regular walks, just getting outside of my everyday reality and just stepping outside of it for even just a few minutes, just breathing really helps. So whatever it is for you, whether that's taking a bath or getting a massage, you know, just take that time and do it to de-stress because that will definitely help with your hair. Speaking of massages, a great thing that you can do to help stimulate more hair growth and thicker hair is to give yourself a nice scalp massage. So this is where you're gonna take your fingertips and just really gently in circles, kind of massage your scalp and head all over. And this is going to add some circulation and draw some blood flow into your head and scalp and in turn stimulate that hair growth. You can elevate this by adding a little bit of castor oil. Castor oil is really well known to stimulate hair growth and keep it super healthy and soft. I also recommend lavender essential oil or cypress or carrot seed or even coconut oil. All of these are really great on hair. They have regenerative ingredients to help stimulate that hair growth. If you can give yourself a gentle scalp massage before bed or daily or at least one to three times a week, that's great. Let's talk styling. So first up, you wanna make sure that you are brushing your hair the right way. This is the time where you're probably seeing most of your shedding happening or you notice it the most because your hairbrush is just full of strands of hair. So you wanna make sure that you're not overbrushing because overbrushing causes a lot of friction and it just causes lots of pulling and your hair will fall out more. So if you can, keep the brushing as minimal as possible. And when you do brush your hair, you wanna make sure that you're using the right type of brush. So I always opt for a wide tooth comb rather than really closely tight plastic bristles. This is a lot more gentler on your hair. And you also wanna make sure that you're brushing from the bottom, working your way up to the top, never starting up here at the root and just dragging the brush down. That's really harsh and just pulls your hair and it will cause more shedding. You wanna avoid as much friction as possible and be super gentle on your hair. I also suggest always brushing your hair before you shower because again, in the shower, this is another time where you'll see a lot of shedding happening during shower or after shower. So if you brush your hair before your hair gets wet, well, this will definitely help minimize the amount of shedding that happens during and after the shower. The time of day that you shower also can affect your hair loss or hair shedding issue. So I always recommend if you have shedding or thinning hair to always shower in the morning instead of at night before bed because sleeping with damp, wet hair and soggy follicles can be really damaging. This causes a lot more friction on your hair and your pillowcase and make your hair more prone to breakage and damage and of course, more falling out. 
Taking really hot showers is also a no-no for hair health because the hot water and steam is really dehydrating on your hair locks. And dehydration causes more brittle strands that will break and then again, you're, you're experiencing more hair loss. So turn that water down to medium when you're taking a shower and when you're washing out your conditioner, turn it down to cold, like really cold. If you can rinse out your hair with cold water, well, this is great for extra shiny hair and it's also way more gentle on your hair. Your hair will thank you. I know it is not the most pleasant thing ever. Um, you'll probably be very uncomfortable, but it's definitely worth it. Okay, after the shower, it's time to dry your hair. There's some extra precautions that you can take here also to deal with hair shedding or hair loss or thinning hair. So you wanna make sure that you are using the right type of towel to dry your hair. So that could be a microfiber towel or even an old t-shirt rather than using a regular towel because they have such big, harsh, rough fibers in the, in the material. Regular towels cause a lot of friction, especially if you are not drying your hair the proper way. So I always recommend patting your hair dry and also gently squeezing with minimal twisting. You don't wanna be rubbing it. You don't wanna be putting it up in a towel turban. The whole point here is you just wanna be really gentle with your hair. You don't wanna be rough with it. So no aggressive towel drying. When it comes to styling your hair, if you like to use hot tools, make sure you turn down the temperature a few degrees at least, or try to keep this heat styling to a minimum. Lexi hair extensions can actually hold and preserve hairstyles for a lot longer than natural hair. So a great tip here to kind of reduce the amount of heat styling you do is to, well, first of all, if you curl or straighten your, your Lexis, you can store them on the Deluxe Styler or in the, the carrier, preserve that, that texture of the hair extensions. And then when you put them in, you can kind of repeat the style for a couple days over and over again. In turn, you're using less heat on your hair. On that note about hair extensions, if you do wear hair extensions or if you're thinking about it, uh, especially if you have thinning hair or really more fine hair, um, a great option for you is the Lexi Hair Seamless Collection because it's got a really, really super thin silicone band that lies super flat against your scalp. It's very light, it's very comfortable, it's very gentle, so it's not gonna be super harsh and heavy and pulling down on your, your hair strands. The Seamless Collection was designed for people with thin hair, so we always recommend that. So if you wanna add that extra length and volume, especially if you are experiencing hair loss or thinning hair and you wanna add a bit of that back without damaging your hair, the Seamless Luxie Hair Extension Collection is a great solution for that. Moving on, so if you shed a lot, let's avoid really tight, pulled back hairstyles. So instead of that really tight, high ponytail, let's opt for a low, looser one. And that goes also for the types of elastics or hair accessories you're using. You don't wanna be using um, really harsh, tight elastics. You might wanna opt for like a fabric scrunchie, which is much more gentle on the hair. You know, no bobby pins, no hair accessories that have lots of metal where your hair can get caught and tangled in it. And again, just more pulling, none of that. And you definitely don't wanna sleep with your hair ever up in a ponytail or a bun. You always wanna make sure that you're sleeping with your hair down if you can, because if it's up, then again, more friction, more breakage, you know the pattern. A great little trick I also swear by if I'm experiencing more shedding at some points in my life is to switch up your hair part more often. So if you've got a middle part, switch it every couple of weeks to a side part and vice versa. Similar to the way that tight ponytails are pulling on your hair, constantly brushing, pulling, styling, drying, just everything always in the exact same spot. Your hair basically just gets tired and you can experience more thinning in certain areas because it's always being constantly brushed and styled and heat and like everything in the same way. So your hair shafts will be thinner, your hair will overall just be weaker. So it's super simple, just change up your part line, change up your look and voila, new style every so often. So that's super exciting as well, that's a perk. <laughs> When it comes to blow drying your hair, you always wanna make sure that you are aiming the nozzle more at your hair rather than your roots. This is where your hair is falling out. This is where it's thinning. So you wanna focus the heat down here, but you also wanna make sure that you're not holding the heat or the hair dryer at one spot for too long. So very quickly, constantly be moving it so you're not power blasting your hair with too much heat on one area. And if you do use a hair dryer because you wanna add some more volume back into your hair, especially if your hair is you know, thinning or shedding or just really flat and limp, if you wanna add some lift back into your roots, well, instead of using a hair dryer and that heat, try opting for a volumizing spray. A 
Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you took away a couple new tips and tricks when it comes to dealing with shedding hair, thinning hair, hair loss, all of that. We all go through different ups and downs with our hair, depending on what we're going through. You know, it's can't always control all these factors. But if you can add even just a couple of these tips and everyday habits into your hair routine, into your lifestyle, well, you'll see a major difference for sure. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe to the Lexi Harris channel and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.